Well, energy readers, today we are continuing our work on Bill 22, and in particular, the transfer of control over teachers' pensions funds uh, over to the Crown Corporation called IMCO and what that might mean. And we want to talk about what that means to a retired teacher. And so we have with us today Barry Gibson, who was a retired as a English and social studies teacher and uh, now lives in uh, Stony Plain. So welcome, Barry. Thank you. So you retired in 2015 and you've been drawing a pension presumably for, for five years and uh, pays the bills and allows you to enjoy your retirement in uh, some a little bit of comfort, which every person should have. What? But this sounds like it concerns you. What are you concerned about? Well, I think fundamentally, um, with this government, I as one pensioner and numerous others that, I, you know, we have this sort of, there is dialogue happening um, both online and in person. Um, my peers, it's trust. Um, you know, the, the UCP government and Premier Kenny have made a number of moves and he has made a number of pronouncements both prior to the election, during the election campaign, and then certainly since they became a government. So everything from curriculum reviews to, um, it's, it's like history is reinvented and here we're starting from day one. And so, uh, you, you know, honestly, I'm not sitting, uh, I'm laying awake at night worried about will my pension stop in some way? Um, but I am concerned about the changes and I am concerned about how, how this change will impact my colleagues. Because as teachers, we're always looking into the, you know, not just our generation, but the next generation as well. So it's a, it's a matter of trust for you and your retired colleagues. And, and while you aren't laying in bed uh, worried about your pension and uh, the, the next check not coming, uh, does it concern you that the, the fund uh, might be invested in say risky enterprises in the Alberta oil and gas uh, industry. Now, I should mention that in a previous uh, interviews, I've talked about how this particular column is going to be about what are the odds that the government invests the teachers' pensions funds in failing oil and gas companies to prop them up so for a variety of reasons, which means that your pension funds might be at risk. Now, does that come, does that come up in your conversations with your retired teacher colleagues. It has come up. It has come up. And certainly, um, you know, that risk is part of our concern. Um, and that, that would be the big end of the concern that, okay, these guys are apparently are trying to bring Alberta back to a 2004 or a, maybe a 1984 um, uh, economy. And um, not, no, no, no pun intended on the 80, 1984 thing. But anyways, um, and and they are bound and determined and resolute that, that that 2004 economy is going to continue, it seems to me. And so, uh, yeah, I could see them investing money uh, in the face of, you know, we are flying in the face of all odds. We, we've gotten rid of all the, the new um, energy uh, uh, investments. We've gotten rid of um, investments in uh, new new technologies and those kinds of things, all of that is gone from our Alberta government. Our only focus is on oil and gas, apparently. Now, Barry, um, you know, uh, these days, everybody's living longer, and, and therefore that puts a little uh, stress on uh, retirement funds, as you can well imagine, and that probably drives a lot of the conservative investing that uh, institutional investors do, including teachers' funds. Like, and uh, so you might, let's, uh, we, we wish that you would live to 100 and collect those pension funds to 100. But given the fact that we all, you know, extended lifestyle and the, po the, the potential or the prospect or maybe the, the possibility of that fund being eroded, now that's got to be of some concern. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's the, big, the big end where when it comes to trust is that, you know, I've been, I've been, te I taught for a long time, 37 years. So I went through this period of time where teachers, myself included, money was taken from my family to support the um, unfunded liability created by the government of Alberta. Not the current one, but historical governments of Alberta had this large unfunded liability with the teacher's pension, whereby 
they put money in when I retired or when a colleague retired. And, and so rather than putting it in regularly, like the teachers were contributing, so starting in the 90s, we had to cover a share of that. It, it was actually frustrating to hear a cabinet minister say, or they, one of the, the responses I got to my emails to my MLA was, we took over the one third teachers were paying. Well, hold on a minute. We were paying one third that was actually the government share. We we were the ones paying the extra all that time. Um, and so in 2007, when the Stelmac government um, fully shared, funded the share, the government share, they weren't taking over something to our, you know, to my benefit. Well, it was to my benefit, but they should have been paying that all along. We, we were, kind of, you know, teachers, from their take home pay, we're paying for the government share. So it's, I can understand why teachers may be a little bit hesitant and, uh, and mistrustful. There's a bit of a history here. Well, Barry, thank you very much for this. Really appreciate it. Any final thoughts? No, I, um, I'm, I'm hopeful um, that we aren't going to be buying any more pipelines like we did yesterday without knowing that this is a good solid investment based in good solid investment as the Alberta. Um, Retired Teachers Fund has been doing for um, many decades now. Barry, thank you very much. We really appreciate it and uh, good luck with the pensions. Thank you, sir.